G'day, it's Bill here from Side Aerial Trading. We've recently been supplying rainbow astro gear into Australia and New Zealand. Now, a couple of hours ago, we heard that we we're going to get some stock in, but it has to go out straight away. So we're going to have a very brief opportunity to have another look at an RST-135E, which is a mount that you've seen before. But it's also our first opportunity to have a look at something called a super mount. Supermount is another Korean company and they specialize in making tripods for heavyweight astrophotography. This model is the CYG 42G RDL. Now that's a bit of a mouthful. It's specifically made for the RSC 135 series and it's a carbon fiber monster. Now I'm not going to talk too much about the Rainbow Astro RST-135E, we did that in an unboxing video a couple of weeks ago. Today's focus is the Supermount, but the RST-135E is perfect for Eclipse chasers. Now the Supermount is made specifically for the RST-135 series, and so expect it to be heavy duty, but small and light. We'll see the mount soon, but first some stuff about it. I'll put some photographs up here. The Supermount is a geared pier tripod, meaning it's built around a pier that you can raise and lower using a ratchet and pinion. A lot of longer telescopes, particularly refractors, need a raised pier, otherwise the end of the telescope is going to run into one of the legs of the tripod. Now Supermount says that the difference in angle between when it's at the bottom and when it's at the top is less than 0.01 of a degree. That means you can get polar alignment at the bottom and then wind it to the position you need and you don't lose polar alignment. Now the pier itself moves almost a foot above its bottom position, so you've got a lot of leeway there. If you take the folding legs into account, it can go as low as 535 millimeters and as high as 1150 millimeters above the ground. But more than that, the physical capacity of this thing is amazing. At the, at the top of its range, it'll lift 50 kilos. That's more than my entire rig, including my NEQ6. If you don't extend it, just leave it at the bottom, it'll lift 150 kilos. That's two of me. Have a look at the legs. These are made out of two millimeter carbon fiber and they extend with a single twist lock. Extra additions are there's a bubble level and underneath the rubber foot at the bottom, you'll find this vicious looking spike. Finally, this thing is fairly small at 630 millimeters long, but it's pretty heavy at 7.9 kilos. That means it's portable, but it's not gonna blow away. Okay, I've gotta go and get ready. Uh, the Supermount will be here soon. You can just hear the air being sucked from the top of the... Uh... Well, here we have the tripod. It's, uh, it, it's, it's deployed. Um, it's, uh, uh, the pier head is, uh, is at its lowest point. Um, now, this tripod is made out of carbon fibre for the legs and aircraft grade aluminium for, for the top. It's beautiful to touch. Um, so now, in order to raise the geared pier, you just unlock this and then pop this back in like that. T tighten it up so it doesn't come out. And then off she goes. Now, apparently the difference in, uh, in, in level between when it's at the bottom and it's at the top is less than 0.01 degrees, which means you don't lose polar alignment when you do this. As you can see, it goes up. It goes up about a half a meter. So I'm not going to take it all the, way, all, the, all the way to the top because it'll disappear out of the top of the shot. Now, I'll bring it down again. That'll do. I'll lock it in place. Just lock it like that and it's, and it's nicely locked. Now, the plate, this one, just undo the bottom. And... Yeah, there we go. Now, this will go at the bottom of the RST-135 and then you bring the whole mount and you put it up on, up, up on there. And I'll do that in a second. This is actually remarkably easy and it's beautifully made. Okay, here is the mount sitting on top of the tripod. Um, now, when, uh, when you put some locking, locking screws in here, then this locks into place. And after, after that, you just use the azimuth uh, adjustment as usual. So uh, now this thing will will hold, believe it or not, this will hold 50 kilos. The mount 
is, well, so the tripod is made specifically for the RSC135 series of mounts. Um, and uh, yeah, all I can say is it's wonderfully engineered. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's a beautiful it's thing. Like, it's like, uh, wow. Um, this is the ultimate eclipse chase. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like you can put the whole thing in a bag and the, and the mount goes in that little, that little bag. Uh, let's, I'll just, ta I'll just take this, let's take this off. There we go, drop that. That just lifts off, Before for sure. Only a small bag. I know they give you one, so I imagine the one they give you would fit. Yeah, so that'll fit in the bag. Easy. Yeah. Well, look, it's it's not cheap, but it's clearly clearly worth it. It's just so so wonderfully made. Look at that. Because yeah. I'm going to lose this one in in within minutes. Yeah. So that's a pity. <laughs> that's probably all we need to do. What's the bets underneath here? There's a, yes, there's a oh, spot. There's a spot. Well, it's the next morning now. Uh, you can see that that little bit of video from yesterday was pretty rushed, but I hope you got a decent look at the, the super mount and how it holds the RSC135 series mounts. It's incredibly solid, but it's still portable. For the Eclipse chasers amongst us, it'd be pretty bad to be all set up and then get clouded out at the last half hour or so. But just imagine if you had all of your stuff all set out and it was too heavy to tear down, and then you heard that there was a, 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 a bit of blue sky 50 kilometers away. That'd be a disaster. I mean, this setup is going to make the difference between getting the shot and missing it. As usual, subscribe to the Sidereal Trading YouTube channel. Uh, like, rate, comment, whatever you like. Um, my name's Bill Stent, and I just lost the game. Have a look at the legs. Arr.